Look, man. Where? Oh, I see. Wow. Oh, my. Bowen, look over there. Wow, is that Ooh. culture? Oh, yes. My goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Las Culturistas. Ding dong. Las Culturistas calling. Now, here's the thing. We didn't tell the readers this was happening today. The readers was what we call our listeners. They're and the not, Katie's the finalist. And the, the Katie's the finalist publicist. They don't know this is happening. This is a Wednesday drop. Uh, this is a moment of wish fulfillment that I don't think I've ever experienced before. For you, my friend. I can't. For everyone who listens, everyone who loves our guest. Which is all of America, period, all of America down. period down. I woke up this morning, my eyes open, and I was like, what do I do? Do I put on like a suit? <laughs> it feels like Christmas. It's like, you know that vibe where it's like, well, it's a big day. What do I do? Do I try to look casual? Do I put together the sort of look that's like, I don't know. I just woke up like it was a normal day. This is how I this am. Is how you or are. do I literally give it sartorially what it means to me, which would be a full ball gown? Honestly. It, it, you want to meet destiny where it's at? Does that make sense? And you, if you wanted to wear a ball gown, you should have... Fucking warning. It's actually roller culture number eight. You <laughs> want to meet destiny, destiny where it's at. at. So there you go. There That's you now go. solidified in the rules of culture. Today, Bo and Yang, we have um, one of the world's greatest singers. I'm not, I can't even look her in the eye. One of uh, the greatest American treasures. It's so funny it's so because, true. you know, on this podcast, we say, what was the culture that made you say culture, culture was, was for, for you? you. For me, that was our guest. And I met her when I was on her show. I had to look her in the eye and say, this might be a lot. I might have a full-on breakdown. And everyone watching and is you, like, Matt, hold it to get there. Oh, we're going to talk about this when we bring her on. But you, you, both of you handled that so well when the cameras were rolling. And I'm sure before they were. I mean, this this person <laughs> is, I, I say this with like full like context of like what the culture was, like how we were consuming things. Oh, yeah. She was Windows Media Player culture. For oh, hundred percent. We were we were downloading. We were going downloading Kazaa LimeWire. Downloading everyone. LimeWire down. We were getting everybody's every contestant's Windows Media Player performances. The capture of the audio on the show. 100%. We were like, let's. And then we're dancing around the family computer. The family computer. The remember family those? computer. Oh, remember the family computer. Oh my god. It's rule of culture number nine. Remember, remember the, the family, family computer? computer. Can I say one thing? This person is VHS tape culture for me because yep. you know what I did was I taped on. Thank you, Fox. Fox 5. Fox 5. I would tape American Idol, and then I would rewind the performance of Euro I Need repeatedly uh, to the point where I can probably quote like the pre-interview, the post-interview, yeah, yeah. the Dunkelman of it all, the baby. The Dunkelman of it all. Which, by the way, was done dirty by that show because we 100%. loved Dunkelman. Oh, my God. He and Ryan and our guest, oh my God, they all went on Mad TV. They, they did go on, on Mad TV. TV. So Bo and Yang, SNL cast oh member, famously liked Mad TV better growing no, up. No, 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 no. Well, we're allowed to say it. We're he not allowed Mad to say it. He liked Mad TV better than SNL growing up. Okay, that's period. That's the I biggest ta- breaking news of the episode. I can't believe we're talking about this and we have our I guest can't sitting here. Our guest is and right we're here. wasting we're, her time. We're okay, wasting so her time. Here's okay, here's the thing. Her 10th studio album, Chemistry, is out now. When I heard the title, I almost jumped out of a window. Oh, because yeah. she's speaking to me at the right time. It's, honey, my major in college. Honey, honey, his major in college. Chemistry. Chemistry. Did you know that? He was going to be a doctor. We'll talk about now this. Now he's on Saturday Night Live. And look, so professional, whispering on the mic, not coming in quite yet, but let's let's waste no time. Let's listen to this <laughs> iconic voice say hello to us. Please, this is insane that we get to say, welcome to Las Culturistas, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> You win for best intro ever. I believe that. That you should take it in, Uh honestly, and let it just marinate. (laughs) That was incredible. I don't think anyone's ever been more excited than we are right now. That was so nice. I know. You you held your together on my show. Can I tell you something? There have been times in this very building where you... So, get this. You did Howard Stern like yesterday, right? Yeah, uh, the day before. So, there was a few years ago where you were doing Howard for... Uh, meaning of life and they had you know they have, they have like the Howard Stern after show yeah. so they had they me on the in. Howard Stern yeah. after show because I'm such a huge fan Oh my and literally God. there was a moment in the hallway where you were like walking <laughs> out and I literally said I mean this is the moment where you could go up and like say hello <laughs> like because you have a reason to you know what I mean you're doing the after show you're not like you have a reason so just a rando I was like I could be like you know I'm here for a reason I started to cry oh. and couldn't do it I was like I can't and then sometimes even thinking about meeting you, I'll start to cry. Isn't that must be insane to hear? I, you know, it's like unbelievable. Like I don't when you're the person, you know. Yeah. I get it, as in like I have people that inspire me so much, and 
for whatever reason, they hit at a certain point in my life. And like, yeah, it's like a safe place, like for me, like 100%. musically or actors, like uh-huh. certain movies or whatever. So I get it. But you don't see yourself that way. It's, so. it's probably impossible to fathom like the impact that you've had, because the thing is, like, it is that thing where even just like the sound of your voice, like, makes me feel comfortable. Because I remember like I, I was like, like that. I'm yeah. sure you do. And like, yeah. that's part of what we talk about on the show is mm-hmm. what was the culture that made you say culture was for me, like that thing that made you you. Yeah. I just remember being 12 years old, like a little gay closeted kid and watching yeah. you on American Idol. I told you an abridged version of this on your daytime talk show, which wins <laughs> Emmys. But I, I love this story. I love the way that you frame this, but keep going. But like, I just remember like, it was a very like alone feeling time. Yeah. And then just to see you succeed and watch America, like, you know, whatever this means, but like fall in love with you literally and choose you as this person that was going to like represent. No, it's like an inspiring moment. I can take myself out of the moment yeah. and look at something like, even if it wasn't me, I can see how, and it was like the first season. So it was like, I can see how something can like resonate with people and especially depending on where you are in your life, right? That's what is important, I think. It's like smells, sounds, visuals, like all those things like come into place when nostalgia is like involved. And and that that moment, like for anyone watching anyone win is, it's inspiring. It's exciting, even on The Voice, even if it's not a person on my team. Like it's like, Mm -hmm. it's a really beautiful thing to, you know, if somebody's achieved something, they work their tail off for, yeah. and then you get to kind of go on the ride with them. Yes. So it's cool. I remember yeah. just like, it, it's just so funny too, because now it's like, we have a different relationship to like what it means to be like on a press tour, like you're doing it now. But yeah. I remember after you won, it felt like you were everywhere, everything, That's everywhere, all at I once. Was. It's because and that, you were. Now, Matt, you were literally at Matt I TV. I didn't know yeah. how to say no. And I was so, I know that was so funny. Um, I didn't know one how to say no. And I didn't, yeah. I was just new to everything, but they had, they had me everywhere. You <laughs> were being dragged about. Yeah. yeah. And then overseas, which was kind of cool because I, they didn't watch Idol overseas. Uh-huh. So it was like a different way as well. Like coming yeah. in to the industry, like in a different way from TV. Cause yeah. uh, across the world, they didn't see that right. season. Totally. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting because I feel like I imagine, and I feel like you've talked about this. I listened to your Glennon episode, by the way. Love. Oh, so incredible. So I love her. I oh, love yeah. them. I Both love of that them. whole podcast. Yeah, that whole podcast. That was so cool. But yeah. the, I think you were talking about like, there was a long period of time where you didn't realize this, but like coming from, you know, Texas and like just being a hard worker, like you, did, you kind of just like were along for the ride and it took you a while to like step away from that and be like, wait a minute, like this is a little too much. And I feel like I imagine that being thrust into that is like, you can't question it. Oh, yeah. I remember vividly one moment and it was, I think after I toured Breakaway, that album like a couple times and it just, I was exhausted. I'd mm-hmm. had like walking pneumonia. They say I had it twice, but I just think I just had it once. It never went away. Mm. But um, <sighs> but anyway, it was just, I was Healthy very stuff. exhausted. Yeah, and they yeah. just pump you full of it. You'll be fine with this mm-hmm. antibiotic. Like, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's like, okay, um, maybe it means I should take a minute. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, I was just very tired and it, and it just hit me because I had just gone to like, I don't know, the store just to get, literally, I think it was milk for like a recipe for something. It was a cool moment. Like it, some, it was a woman, she was very nice, but just talked to me for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And it was like, I was exhausted. Yeah. Like I had just gotten off tours. Like I, I just wanted to go home and pick this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like uh-huh. sit on my couch and not talk. Yeah. But you have to turn it on right. when you don't feel like it sometimes because, uh. because not that you're trying to be fake, that you just, that you know that this moment means something to this person. Yeah, sure. And like, just pull yourself together for a minute and like, you can do it mm-hmm, and then you'll mm-hmm. be home. But I think when I got home, I had a complete breakdown in my garage. Oh, yeah. Because I had figured out like, you can't take it back. Right. Like you right. can't, and that, that was the thing I just kept saying when I was crying to my brother at the time. I was like, I can't take it back. You can't not be who people know who you are now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, I think that that was a really hard like lesson or, or hill to get over. But, but for the most part, it's, it's awesome. It's just those moments, you know, that you're just exhausted. But I think that was a, a really good turning point for me. Well, especially because like, the image that people had of you from the show and even throughout your career is like a very like excited, positive, you know, even like the daytime talk show version of Kelly I mean, Clarkson. I am a very positive. And yes, like, but it, but it, it's hard to be effusive all the time. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? Oh yeah, not like, all the time. Obviously not. Yeah, no. like it, but it's hard to even like, I would imagine that it's like, 
when someone comes up and they have this idea of what you're going to be, mm -hmm. you probably for a time anyway, like had this thing of like, did I give them like Kelly Clarkson? You know what I mean? That's like a therapy thing too. It's mm -hmm. like that I've had to, you know, talk with my totally. therapist about sometimes. It's like yeah. separating who I am from like, you know, the person I want to give people sometimes. And like, I do think what's easy for me though, is that because people are always like, oh my God, you're like exactly how you're on TV. I'm like, I'm, I don't try in that <laughs> sense. Like, I don't, yeah. you know, like, I mean, if you're feeling like exhausted, that's one thing of like putting your best foot forward, I guess is what I should have said. But I feel like I'm very fortunate. I don't have like some created persona. Right. Like who I am sitting right here is who I'm going to be tonight are. at my ranch. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's like, so it's, it's just the same anywhere I go. I don't mm -hmm. know. I think it seems exhausting to try and be yeah. anything else. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like how people do have a shtick they kind of put on for that seems exhausting right. to me. But so. with the daytime of it all, I feel like there's this register you're, you're talking to people at where it's so intimate. It comes off as like, you're literally, you're in people's homes yeah. while they're going about their business. And to them that like, it's like an instant, that's the reason why people were so like, you know, invested in the daytime wars of like the aughts or whatever, or the yeah. 90s, where as you're sipping your coffee, like yeah. you're watching Kelly or something. And I think that's maybe something where people are expecting a version of Kelly Clarkson when they like come up to your, while you're just trying to buy, well, buy milk or something. I should have explained that better. I don't even mean that I had to put something on. I just meant like, be the better version of yourself, not the tired yeah, version yeah. of yourself. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, I know you're tired, but like, <laughs> just be who you <laughs> normally are on a regular basis sure. right now, even though you're not feeling it innately. Um, but no, I, I don't know. Even with the show, like I was very upfront. Like I didn't even want to do it at first. Cause I was like, no yeah. one's going to watch this. Um, and hmm. cause I think most, I grew up with like either journalists or comedians. Yeah. Like people. Rosie was ours. Yeah, Rosie. Yeah. I yeah. Love. love. Or Oprah or even Ellen, like all those people, like journalists, like comedians, like, I was like, uh -huh. what? So anyway, I told them right off the bat, I was like, I don't even know what the formula is yeah. for daytime TV, but what I'm going to give you is me. Yeah, which mm. is probably and good. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I am not the person you want to hire if you feel like I'm going to do something. that's Like even the cooking segments, we make a joke out of it. Because yeah. like, uh -huh. I am not, that is not something I enjoy doing. Sure, like, right. So sure. we make fun of, you know, we're self-deprecating about, we like, poke fun at things that people are interested in in a daytime, but yep. like I am not generally like, cause I'm not good at it. Right. So, or I but just you're, don't you're a baker, like not a cooker. I am a baker. Okay. Not, yeah. And a cocktail because maker. sweets are way more fun. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Do you know about like, about three years ago, who you had on your show was Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox. Do you know <gasps> yeah. Tom and Ariana from Vanderpump Rules? They they came to your show to make cocktails? Yeah, I knew they were, um, honestly, because I had gone to one of the restaurants yeah, like and my friends gave me the down low on the whole thing. So. Can you believe? Yeah. That, now that's Wait, because is that the one where they're not together or yes, something? Yes, yeah. cheated oh, yeah. on her oh. with one of the castmates and, and they've been together with for With one 10... of the castmates? Yes. So it's like on TV? Honey. It's... So wow, you really are like off the grid when you're off the grid. Oh my God, that girl went through that like yes. publicly? Oh yes. yeah, Kelly. It's 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 <laughs> wild. And I thought, I was like, I don't know what this what is about. What kind of depth of asshole? Can you not no. do that off of... Oh, sorry. Can't no, 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 you no, can no, say, no, say it. Please, please say it. it. We've no, said way worse about Tom Sandoval. I'm doing this I'm, agree. I'm like, oh, oh, honey. I'm like, oh my God, I'm allowed to say that word on the... Oh, I'm 100%. Like, just, this is a podcast where we say way worse. I'm like, well, wait, can you just like not do it on camera? Well, the like, answer is when you're a narcissist, the answer is no, you can go to the depths of hell. Well, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. do have experience. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so the way the transition is happening, we actually love when that happens so naturally. Organically, if you will. When you announced that this was called chemistry, and your little mm -hmm. breakdown of why. I literally had to sit back in my chair because I've experienced this rather recently, which is oh, like something no. feeling incredibly special. Mm -hmm. And the world just like turns on its axis and you're like, like the stars are You didn't exploding. even know it could happen. Didn't uh, like you didn't know that. it could happen yeah. like that. And then you find mm -hmm. out it's not what it seemed for X, Y, Z reasons. And yeah. when you were talking about how chemistry can be the best thing that mm -hmm. you've experienced in terms of the feeling. And you feel lucky that you've yes. gotten to yeah. And that yeah. you have to hang on to it because of course it's special, of course. Something magical. Right. Yeah. And then like all of a sudden you look at it from like the 30,000 foot view you get when you step outside of it and you're like, mm -hmm. that wasn't good for me. Like just putting that into that word chemistry and like it meaning both positive and negative things. Yeah. like. That's really going to resonate. I know it has with me. And I just wonder, like, 
When did you decide that that was going to be the word and the theme that you were going to? Because it's like an anticipated moment, like not only just for you as a person, but for all your fans and all fans yeah. of music to hear this from you because mm -hmm. you've been through this seismic thing. So I wonder like when it clicked that that was the way you'd introduce this to the world. Uh, well, I didn't even think about they, uh, the title of the album didn't come up for like quite some time just because my label gave me the space. It was really cool. They yeah. were like, let us know when you're ready. Cause I was like, I don't know if I'm even going to release this. Yeah, I don't I know. You saying that. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. So, and they really were respectful and gave me space. So I literally just wrote a bunch of stuff for me to get things out. And then when it came down to picking songs, I kind of picked ones that I felt like were fair game. Cause things had already been led out in the press that were right out of my control. Yeah. yeah. So like it was already out there. So I put anything that was already out, I kind of felt like was fair game. But other than that, I didn't put any of the others out. So it came down to these specific songs that you now have on the album. And chemistry just, I was trying to think of a, a word, you know, which, what, what, what's the word? How do you wrap up this entire Oof, yes. relationship yeah. feeling ride? Like all of that. And it felt like exactly what you just said. It felt like it, <laughs> it was like, man, it wasn't all bad. Right. You know, some was, you know, really horrible, but some of it was really special and like really hot and sexy and cool and yeah. like amazing. And like, oh my God, not everybody gets to feel this in their life, you know? So it was, it, I felt like that word kind of encapsulated like all of the feelings, all of the stages of grief mm -hmm. that you go through on it. So yeah. Because chemistry, it can, it makes things, it unmakes things. It, it makes like, and breaks things. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And like, yeah. I, I love that it is this tapestry, this like unlinear progression of like thoughts and experiences and feelings. It's like, you're it's not- It's definitely a stream of consciousness. <laughs> love, no, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. It's so, and it's so, um, I feel like a breakup album, especially as it's tied to like someone's personal real experience is- can sometimes feel like a little bit of a calculated thing, right? Either you can't yeah. help it, it. It's hard to avoid this notion that like, no, as soon as it's announced, people are like, when's the break? Exactly. Coming? That's, exactly. The that's just weird about no, it. No, same thing with commodified. Casey Musgraves or yeah, Adele. Adele. Or who, mm -hmm. Like all of us went down in COVID, um, but <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make it. Um, you and a lot uh, of other people. Yeah, 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 I know. So it was like, I, I think that is, that's my natural inclination. I mean, even like hearing, you know, people that I know and then they're coming up and I'm like, oh, I wonder what that's going to sound like. Like what, <sighs> what, what are they going to touch on? You know, yeah. not that we delight in that. No. I think that it's just to connect with someone on a level that you've been there, yeah. like you felt that and you're like, cause that's, there's nothing like, even like, okay, happier than ever. Mm -hmm. When I decided mm -hmm. to cover that song on the show. Amazing. <sighs> what a, mo Eilish, a moment. Love oh, moment. her, Phineas, they're great. But it was, it was different. Like I love her music and I've covered her stuff tons, but that song, mm -hmm. like when I heard it and then proceeded to be a million of the views uh, yeah, or yeah. whatever, yeah. Or, so you whatever exactly spins, one million, yeah. I was like, first of all, how dare you? This is my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, I was like, you know, I was like, wait, <laughs> I was like, were you watching? Did you like, yeah. come so, over? Yeah, yeah, it was like very, and I feel like that's why it's such a great song is it's so relatable. She was very honest about it. That song, uh, Lucius has this album, Second Nature, which oh my God, really Lucious. got me. It got me through it, man. And mm. I just hope that my album does that for anyone. Oh, like yeah. that, because there's nothing like that. When people go through things, unfortunately, tragedy usually bespokes like some kind of art that is moving. Yeah. Like, you know, in yeah. a different way. Wow. I mean, it really is true. And I think that's, that's the part that like, as a huge, huge fan of yours, I remember when this, when it came out that like your marriage was going to end, there's like this degree of heartbreak. And there's also this, this thing, because I remember watching you promote Meaning of Life and you did seem mm. so happy yeah. and you seemed like, it, and it seemed like, you know, signing with Atlantic, it felt like there was this new lease for you. It just felt like mm -hmm. there was this like watershed moment. And then, you know, when you think back a few years, like the piece by piece of it all, yeah. and now that song returns in, yeah. you know, in Rock yeah. Hudson, which is one of our favorite songs oh. from the album. Yeah, like, and it returns in that It song, returns yeah. at the end. And I wonder like, What's your relationship to that music now? That's a really good question. Um, Cause I've even we're putting the set list together for Vegas right now, Ooh, and I'm like, on August on the last night. Okay, the last okay. Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I know, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh. Um, if you have any requests, throw them at me. We're still figuring out the set list for okay. each night. It's going to be a little different. So, oh, love that. Um, but it, you know, saying that, it's like, yeah. I don't want to sing that. No. no. You know, because that was a very hopeful place and a place of projecting like 
what one wishes and when one yeah. hopes one didn't fall prey to again. And there's a, I'm a very hopeful person yeah. and optimistic. And I honestly am that person too, that I figured out, like you're saying, you go through these experiences and like what I see is not always what is happening. And that's the, and that's thing. the really crappy thing. Cause I always, I don't want to change who I am. Cause I think it's a beautiful thing to see potential. I think it's a beautiful thing to see hope. Yeah. And also where's the line of like, have I tried enough? Like mm. I'm exhausted, but like, th is this worth it? There's just a, it's a line that, you know, everybody has to make for themselves, yeah. right? So is it worth choose... it to sing piece by piece when it's going to kick my ass? Yeah. yeah. Like people pay it to come and that you, you, they want to hear it. And people love like... that song and they relate to it and it's something special. So here's where I landed. Yeah. Which is, um, cause I went from hardcore pass <laughs> yeah. right. to, um, to, you know what? For a moment in my life, you know, I was pregnant with my first child and, 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 and yeah. one, we're in a different place, mm -hmm. you know, so um, it was, it's very different. So I, I'm going to respect that chapter and I'm going to respect what happened there mm -hmm. and what I was feeling there is not lost. Got that, it. I did feel yeah. that. And that was real at one point. Yes. So that's how I um, compartmentalize sure. and, and, and figure out what I'm comfortable with. So like, we'll still do it. Yeah. Um, but it's, more so for like not only fans, but for that girl that did believe wholeheartedly mm. that that's what was happening. And Ugh. that's what I saw, you know? Yeah. So, well. and I know that that's incredibly sad to think about, but you know, it's also real. it's real. So it's retro. This sounds weird. It's like retroactively hopeful. It's like, it's really compassionate towards that person mm -hmm. that you were when that song was being conceived. yeah you don't want to diminish that's the thing too and it's like a breakup album or whatever it's like i don't want to diminish it down to just like the bad i mean red flag collector is real but it. <laughs> it sure is it sure is it's great. It's <laughs> but, you said uh, i'm saying it and uh -huh. i it's already out there so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so um but also favorite kind of high is i love and it. so is magic love it. you know love so it. yeah so it's all real it's just yeah. different stages well so. i mean I, this is a question I've been thinking about with, with with chemistry specifically is that it seems like you've reached such a peace and a resolution with like releasing the music. I mean, like mm -hmm. we're talking to you like on the day of the release of the album. And I feel like I've been I've been watching and listening to your interviews where you you seem like, oh, yeah, like I, I've I, we've, we've had these songs written for a few years now. Yeah. And I can't help but think like, well, doesn't that like prolong the experience? Doesn't that extend like I treading water might. in this? And it doesn't. So that's why I almost didn't release it. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to live Relive in that it. dumpster fire anymore no, than I no. have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I've done a lot of work <laughs> to yeah. get out of it. So um, that is actually one of the reasons why I almost didn't. Okay. And just went a different route was another way musically. But um, it, it came down to... I think you don't believe it when people talk, and I don't know where you're at with what you were just talking about relationship. We're good now. We're on Lexapro, and we got closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flat out. <laughs> we're talking meds here. Period. We're talking meds. I am even. Um, <laughs> even. We're actually great. Stuff down my feelings yeah. for a minute. Uh, we had some uh, bad months, uh, Kelly. Oh my gosh. But, you know, we're good. It was. I, hey, look, I'm going to be very honest right now, and I have not owned this. Ever, I wanted but, to ask, but I didn't know what was boundaries. No, here's. I don't really generally have them unless it has to do with my children but yeah. um no i have never i've been so against it just because mm -hmm. of things i saw in my childhood so against like any kind of form of medication making you feel i'm like no there's got to be a better way of like yeah. talking to someone figuring this out healthy i don't want to numb myself i don't want to like whatever and then there came a point when it was i think it was literally the last two months like whenever my divorce was happening whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and um i feel like it lasted forever yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um i literally i was like I looked at my therapist and I was like, just yeah. couldn't stop sobbing. And I was this like, I actually had to cancel something the other day because I couldn't stop crying. Uh, I couldn't stop crying. I just, it was, yeah, I was like, I can't, I cannot do this. Yeah. Like, and it was one of those things where I really had to put my bride aside and like all my childhood issues of whatever. And I was, I, that's what I, that's why I laughed so hard. I was on Lexapro for like, I think two months because yeah. I was like, look, I don't want to be on it forever. I don't want to be that person. I want to be, not that there's anything wrong with that. No. I just have issues with it because of my own things from childhood. Yeah. Right. But so my thing was, I just, I can't smile anymore for no. America right now. Yeah. Like I'm not help. happy and I need help. Yeah. And it was one of the best lessons because she kept trying to convince me. She's like, girl, you're doing a lot mm -hmm. and having to balance a lot and trying to put my best foot forward in front of my kids. Like, 
I was like, I can't do it. And so for like a couple months of my life, and it was honest to God, the greatest decision ever. I wouldn't have made it. I can't even tell you. And then by the time you wean off of it, it's like, okay. Yeah. Like I handled what I couldn't handle then. And now I have time and space. And I took like the whole summer off. Yeah. And I was like, I need to take time to actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then then when you can make a decision like that, you judge yourself less. You're less anxious about the ramifications. Exactly. Just because you did something to take care of yourself, yeah. which is always a good thing, people. I like, know. And it and just was always, yeah, just because there's some things that happened whenever I was younger. Totally. I, I, I'm, I, I, it's a thing for me, but it was a really good lesson in like, you need to put your ego aside and like everything aside and like, like candles. Someone yeah. is t- someone's trying to help you. Yeah. Listen. Especially as a creative person, I think a lot of people that I've talked to are like hesitant to do something that's going to, you know, numb like you, you said, or numb like, you or make yeah. you less creative. I'll be real. The fact that now I can wake up and not want to like stay in bed all day because yeah. I have this. Mm. Now I'm more creative. Like I've had like breakthroughs in the past couple of weeks. Like it's been like, yeah. and then I realized like, wow, maybe I was feeling like this for quite a while, yeah. pre yeah. even any situation that I went through. And then you're like, huh, like I feel like I'm back in a way and it doesn't feel like yeah. I'm less of myself. Mine wasn't less of myself or creatively speaking. Mine was just because yeah. if you see something when you're a kid and you, yeah. someone's on something where maybe it was the wrong medication, maybe Probably. it was whatever, but like it was literally like The Walking Dead. Like uh-huh. I would watch people in my life and I was like, you are void and vacant of any oh, emotion any, yeah, like yeah, right yeah. now like yeah. so that was a bad experience i saw which yeah. affected me yeah of course but um but i think you know it was one of the greatest things that's why i laughed so hard i was like <laughs> boy you know it uh-huh. i mean that's the thing is it's like and that's the thing about like and i say that because like i just wish sometimes and this is why i think people like again like anticipate hearing from you through your music about the situation mm. not the type of thing where it's just like "Ooh, what was it what happened because those yeah. aren't real fans like but people that you trust in a way or look up to in a way because you have that connection with them yeah like the honesty helps yeah and i mean oh, I, that's yeah. what i feel like like with your glennon interview like when you talk to angie martinez yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. like i'm incapable things, of not being honest yeah so i think my thing though the trick is, is i have to wait till i'm ready yeah so course. like even with the label i was like i can't promote this yet like right. you're gonna have to wait yeah we have to wait <laughs> like i can't like i'll break down in yeah, an you interview might not get through. and it won't get through it and there will be no point so uh, and i'm well, already kind of known as a crier so i'm like i mean yeah so pisces I just, rising pisces I'm cancer just moon. like i don't even know if it's a taurus thing but maybe it is uh <laughs> what's this thing where you're surrounded by scorpios as a scorpio i'm, I'm so surrounded curious. by scorpios what is and that about? Gemini's. Scorp- yeah scorpios and gemini's i don't know i'm attracted to y'all oh yeah interesting i don't know if i've ever dated a Scor- oh yeah i've dated a scorpio interesting yeah how'd that go no, we don't have to go into Wait, it. No, not bad. Not bad. Okay. It just, um, just better as friends. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I mean, this is so refreshing though because people, you tell someone you're a Scorpio or a Gemini and they like clutch their damn pearls There's or like, stigma. what? Yeah. Get away from me. And I'm like, And fine. apparently I'm like, magnet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah. I think as friends, if you understand that like the boundary is, oh, better as friends. I mean, there is compatibility in that way where it's like some signs are more compatible for a friendship and some are more compatible for a romance. Yeah. yeah. But um, Are you into so astrology? Funny. Like whatever. I, Is there I'm just into fun? like everything. Like yeah. I think anything's exciting. Yeah. Like I'm like I I literally had someone come on the show and they I just somebody had given me uh, tarot cards oh, and, yeah. and I was fun. like so my mother told me that my grandmother was like into it I guess whenever oh, and I was like really and I never knew anyone in my family yeah I was like oh that's kind of cool and I just kind of for fun like it's like reading your horoscope to for me like yeah. I'm just like I do the car we do it for fun in our yeah. camp so I don't I don't like base my life decisions right. off it by any means but I do find it interesting I think yeah. it's just fun yeah. yeah and I think there's always like a little fun lesson to be learned like even from a tarot reading it's like Dude, it's you like, take what you want from it yes but sometimes I feel like I don't know if you grew up in church and I grew up I grew up um, Southern Baptist mm-hmm. and it's like if you hadn't been in a while or something you, you show up or and you're like oh are they speaking to me? Like yeah. you're like uh-huh. the message was right for you wow. so it's like yeah, when you yeah, read yeah. those cards sometimes it's like you take it in and you're like sure. apply it to your yeah, life yeah, 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 you're yeah. like this was meant for me today uh-huh. and you're like go off with it anyway yeah. I think it's fun I'm not like hardcore yeah, yeah right totally, yeah. Totally. wait speaking of dating okay so I feel like I have to ask you a question that mm-hmm. gets sort of lost in the conversation Here we go. because here's the deal if you had said 20 years ago to mm-hmm. America that you and Justin Guarini had dated during From Justin to Kelly, the we world would have exploded. During. No, but wait, what we was it? We dated after. You did it after, after From yeah. Justin to Kelly? Still, it was the like, world would have exploded. It was like, I feel like it was, it was like months, but it was just like, um, 
And I think, honestly, we could probably both say this. Yeah. We just were around each other all the time. Totally. So it was well. just like, hey. We're here. You're here. I'm here. And we experienced something <laughs> yeah. very intense, you know? Yeah. And yeah. it wasn't like I won and I was the only one on the promo. Like, Justin and I went around everywhere. Yeah. Like, just went on the tour. Yeah. yeah. And then we made a horrible film. And because I was contractually <laughs> obligated. Justice for I... from Justin to Kelly. No it's... justice. There's nothing. You're getting nothing from me. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> it's fun. Here's why. It's just because when you don't. <laughs> When your goal has never been to be an actor, <laughs> like, no, and then they they, they, they throw you in there. It on yeah, you. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. it was literally I bawled to try and get out of it. It was God, the most I'm horrifying. Sorry. I remember hearing anyway. you say like when you won the show. Is this true? Like when you won the show and like there's the moment of my you, immediate like, thought. Are you serious? My immediate thought was fuck because we had just talked about it, Justin and I, before we went out there. Because he didn't really mind. He loves acting. He loves like he's really he's good on at all this right stuff. Now. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is like his thing, his forte. I'm like, this is not mine. I yeah, hope you I win. Because <laughs> yeah. if you didn't win, you didn't have to do it. It was only oh, if so you he won. elected to do it. Yes, and uh. so I was like, he wanted like yeah, but because he's into that yeah, stuff. Yeah, thank yeah. God he did because you had like a partner and all that. Yeah, yeah no, no, yeah, it was yeah. fine. But so we did like for months. It was. Long at but all, it was but like, like a thing. We dated, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Amazing. that would have I can't believe you guys were able this is how you know it was a different time that was able to I be. I think kept we're just not kiss and tell people generally. Like we're not uh, those mm. like it wasn't like we were like, oh, don't tell people. I don't think we ever I don't yeah. remember ever having that conversation. Right. So was he being a little dramatic a few years ago when he went out on stage and was like, This song, it's for Kelly, you know, you know, always we'll always remember that time. He went out on stage and Wait, was what like what song? He he sang a song no like a few years ago. This is like <laughs> but I remember like he got out on stage and I think maybe he was embellishing a little bit, but he was like, oh. Yeah, it's true. I did have a relationship with Kelly and this is for her. Um so it's going to be something I remember. You know what I mean? I think maybe he was like kind of giving <laughs> like impression. Like, <laughs> yeah, Lauren. Hello, <laughs> Lauren. Matt's got a So, you know, this is going to be topical this year. No, well, here I will tell you this. I, he, I, I'm completely being honest. At the time when we, I mean, I'm a better writer now, but like at the time when we were still in that show, the stuff he was writing <laughs> was incredible. Yeah. Really? Yes. Like I'm talking like Maxwell, like he, Wow. So talented. He's great. No, no, but here's the thing is like sometimes, and maybe he felt like he didn't have the leverage because he didn't win. I don't know what the reasoning oh. was. We never really had this conversation, but hmm. his stuff that he was working on was far superior to what the label had him record well, for yeah. his album. Like he was a far better musician and writer than he got to show on oh, that first that album of his. It does suck. Because I do remember being angry about it, like yeah. just personally, because I was like, he Dude, could have really what? made an impact. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you're incredible. Like, you, you know, he was, and he was far more advanced. Like, I'm a better writer now, but like, I was not that good, like, back then so, as a writer. Like, it was kind of a lesson for me, too. Like, mm. and and I think kind of helped me stand up for myself because I was like, wait, I don't want, I, yeah. I saw what he was capable of and you did not let him do what he should have been right. doing. That sucks. Yeah. Because honestly, like, I remember thinking at the what, time. Because what would have happened differently? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, totally. Because it was, in, I mean, really cool music. Like, yeah. really good. Mm. I mean, I just remember at the time thinking like, oh, like, all these people are going to be superstars. Like, I mean, even like, you but know, But everybody Justin, did everything. And I, yeah. wish, I just remember they sat on that Tamira album for such a long time. Tamira oh, Gray God. was such an icon. Is such, I mean, she's still so amazing. Such an amazing. I, I mean, saw like, her on Broadway. She's, oh, yeah. so did I. Oh, that's Once right. on the Silent. Oh, I saw her in Rent. I feel oh, like it was, I, yeah. You yeah. know what? Did I also see her in Rent? No, I, I saw her wanted on, to. I, we saw her on Once on the Silent. We saw her together on Once on the Silent. Crushed. Amazing. She's incredible. She's incredible. And then like, I remember. I'm still shocked she was like fourth or whatever she was. I know, fourth. And then upset. Even, Nick, even Nikki, God rest, well, like she at the time like had her own thing. Like I remember thinking there was no, like a lot No, even Nikki of... was floored. Nikki, yeah. we all were, we yeah. all were like. Oh, you mean like for coming in third? Like, wait, no, like, no, like, I just, no, I just mean like oh, oh, oh. all yeah. of us on the set, like the top five, we were like, wait, what? Like, yeah. did did she just get kicked off the show? Like, yeah, Do you think yeah. there was some bullshit there or do you think that they were actually going by the Here's votes? what I think. I think this is what happened with Tamira. I have no actual idea. This yeah. is just me. Even like being a coach on The Voice and seeing how things play out yep. with viewers and Truly voters. conjecture. As, yes, conjecture. But I feel like people thought she was such a shoe and like we thought she was going to win. Mm. Like a lot of us thought she was going to win. So like, I didn't even think I would at all. So like, I, we were one of those, I think we were in a thing where everybody thought, oh, she's getting voted for, that nobody was voting because they thought she was a shoe in yeah. I think that people assumed and they didn't really understand the power of sitting on that phone. Sure. 
And it, it, I, I think that's what... I understood when I voted for you 260 times every <laughs> single night. <laughs> it worked. Stuff like that there. <laughs> oh, that's, that's my favorite. That was a moment in culture. When you sang stuff like that there, were you watching at the time? The season one? I remember Absolutely. I was sitting there with my grandmother. And it, you were last that night on Big Bed Night, which was so exciting. And I think is another so reason why, like, I, like think of you and like American Idol as the culture that made me say culture was for me which we'll ask you in a second. Because you engaged. Because it made me realize there was so much music that like yeah. was out there. I mean like when mm -hmm. you were singing Aretha like then I got into Aretha and I went into school and like you know I had a teacher that would play us Aretha Franklin and I knew the songs because you had sang them and stuff like that. But oh, when wow. you sang stuff like that there my grandmother was like, I mean, she should win. She's the most talented. I was like, I think she is going to uh -huh, win. Uh -huh. But I knew you were going to win after your aligning. That was, I'll tell you, that was my prayer. Was I was like, I just wanted mm. to make it to big band night. I had like seen For the Boys with Ben Midler. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, I saw that when I was younger and I was obsessed. Yeah, you were galvanized. With that yeah. whole, all the music from that. And I was like, and, and even we had to flip. So songs were not easy to clear back then. Right. That's why we sang a lot of Motown because that was a lot of the Stuff songs that was like right. available. That was available, which I happen to love Motown. So it was no problem for me. But right. it would be hard for other artists that didn't want to per se get sing that. that. So, yeah. so it was hard to get songs cleared. So we often like were flipping. For songs, if, if two people wanted the same thing. And I knew that not one of those, board I shouldn't say right now. Motherfuckers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, not one of those people knew what that song went. I was like, I literally asked just openly. I remember going, anybody ever heard of For the Boys the Musical? And everybody had it. And I was like, cool. Mine. Then I'm not then, flipping for my song. Yeah, I yeah, want yeah. this one. Oh, and y'all can fuck off. I was like, I don't want anyone to fight me on this song. You don't know it. That's not fair. Yes. I was like, so it was like, I, I didn't have to like flip for that one. So I was, I was, was very excited. Video. And so just the way you performed it. And there's these like little tiny itty bitty rumors coming out about you regarding Broadway. So yeah. now you're in New York. You're going to be up in the 30 Rock it's building with Bell and One of the Yanny. reasons why I moved here. Yeah. So this is a real thing. You might want to like. It's a real thing. I definitely have been working on something for like a year and a half already. But like it that I could be involved with or don't have to be, but depending on schedule. But is I am Juliet? taking the year. <laughs> that what a great one with Max's thing. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. it's not that. It's something like I've been doing on my own, like that is Amazing. not out yet. So, okay. and I'm not opposed to like any other ideas or doing other. I'm not, I'm, I just am interested, like, because I grew up in musical theater. So, yeah. um, but my, my, goal is this first year at least to get my family like established my kids happy yeah, in school like and, yeah, so yeah. I'm not doing anything right off that because literally I said it in one interview and then it went like I everywhere know, because I think people everyone wants and it. people were blowing up my agents and they were I like well, we went on the phone and I was like oh my god tell them I'm so interested but like not right at this sure, moment sure. because yeah, yeah. I just have other things to take care There's of at time. first yeah. yeah so um but no that's one of the reasons why I I loved moving here so yeah, yeah. yeah. how yeah. are your kids doing in New York do they, they like it? My son, well, so they haven't actually, we ended in LA with school and we spend summers in, at my ranch, right. so in Montana. So he threw, it's like confetti. It was like, um, <laughs> I don't know what it was. It, looked like it was the top of the straw. Right, Montana. <laughs> it was like, um, so anyway, so they haven't, they've been here off and on for like uh, vacations or whatever, but they yeah. haven't actually lived here, gone to school here, done that Got here. It. So that's happening right when they start school. So my son is very excited. He's my daughter. River, I'm still so winning much. over. <laughs> oh, what's, 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 yeah. her hang up? what's her hangout? What's her It's hang not up? New York. It's the fact that she just has friends, of and course. so that's She's yeah. At that age. Now my son is like, my friends will be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, like, to the he, big apple. He loves boo. New York. Love yeah. that. And literally, we were. I don't know. I don't know why we've been here. I mean, often, but like, it just was crazy to me. He was like, I think like six years old when he said like just turned six, and we were here for a promo thing and crossing the bridge to come in, and I was like, buddy, I mean. <laughs> why do you like it here so much? Like, why do you like New York so much? Why are you so excited that you're here? And he was like, it's freedom. And in the car. <laughs> wow. With like, freedom. Title of app. It's freedom. And literally I felt bad because I was like, do you not feel free? Like where you are? Oh, like what's happening? Like, <laughs> No, in L.A. We're in, mainly yeah, in right. L.A. So well, like, L.A. is not for, LA is tough. It's not for Remy. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, Remy yeah, was not. like, deuces. Yeah. Yeah. Remy's a New York name, too. Yeah. You know? He's Remy. very excited. He loves the walking around. He loves the kind of chaotic energy. He loves freedom, all that. Freedom, freedom. Yes. I mean, I think with, I think you can tell River Rose that like, I, I think moving around a lot as a kid, as someone who of that experience. Yeah, me like, too. I think Highly I, adaptable. Exactly. I think it kind of teaches you to be that 
kind of malleable person and like you get to like meet different people. I don't know. I just you can easily pivot. Yeah. yeah. No, we've had conversations and it's it, I've had a similar background to hers, no. but it's you can't take away. You can't say, oh, it's going to be fine. I'm like, I can't promise you it's going right. to be fine, baby. Like it might not be, might be hard. It might be hard at first. Like I, I get that too. I was yeah. like, so I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, but can't poo poo on it until we try it. Right. right? Totally. So, yeah. And it's happening. I, like I'm a mom. Can't yeah. poo poo on it. Like it's like how you talk to your children. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wait, so would you ever, so now that you are going to be up in the 30 Rock <laughs> building, would yes. you ever host? You should host SNL. Oh my God. I'm yes. not funny enough or cool enough to what do that. Let's about? be real no, about that's this. that's not true. I really do know it's true. I do. You hosted you daytime think that talk everyone show that hosts is funny? <laughs> Have you seen some of the episodes? <laughs> well, if Why? that's the bar we're going with, then okay. <laughs> yeah. Kelly. You would be fucking great. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, okay, see, you're being a little you're smiling about, about it, it, but I no, think there's No, I'm being gun about it because it's a very different arena. I do like live energy, yeah. but like, it's a, y'all are incredibly gifted because I have um, done skits or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like I've gone in there saying like done some skits and I'm like, I enjoy the popping in and out. Yeah. But that's a big thing. It's a big thing, but I think like, I think you would enjoy just like the seat of your pantsness of it all. Oh, like, I do I think, like that part. So, you have so much yeah. live energy. Um, no, no, I don't. I don't mind live. Yeah. I just mean like, I don't know. And how y'all are with the cue card and the changes. I'm there all day as an artist. You're there all day, like rehearsing. Before yeah. you see all the skits, you see the ones that get cut. Right, right, right. Like right. you see, it's just ever changing. It is. And it's like I don't. That's it's a little bit of a mind fuck. <laughs> it, it, a little bit, but I think yeah. like I think you are perfectly situated, skilled, like positioned for it. Like I think you're all literally right. downstairs. <laughs> She's like, only okay, if you want to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is anyway. like how this is, by the way, how they got me to do the talk show. I was like, I don't think so. Uh-huh. And look like, watch, are, now they're going to add you to the SNL yeah. cast. It's yeah. going to be a smashing it's success. Not that funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of my favorites on was um, Timberlake. I thought oh, he yeah. did oh, such oh, a great. God. Yeah, he was one of my favorites. He was yeah. great. Oh my day. God. And Pedro, Pedro. Oh Pascal. my God. I love don't Pedro. Don't even get us started on Pedro. That hospital part with the. Oh my God. His idea. Which is brilliant. Like, he's. Funny. So funny. God, he's he your type. He's your type. He's my type of guy. I like yeah. funny and well, hot as hell. Yeah. <laughs> funny, hot as yeah, hell, yeah. huge. Simple. Yes, You're not yes, picky. yes. Um, okay, I so don't have, have, but yeah, there's no limit here. No, absolutely. We, please. We have to. Uh, and I'm, you, you, I'm open and available. Yeah, for there you types. go. For all types. Um, we have to ask you the question, which is what was the culture that made you say culture was for you? If you could look back in time at hmm. young Kelly. Yes. What made you the person you are? Like whether that's like a movie, um, like a musical artist, something that stands out that now you can trace back and be like, that was the beginning of me. It's a big question. I know. I know, but it's it's the question. I think it probably what whenever I is this like the moment where you feel like you found your thing? Yeah. Is that kind of it? Sort okay. Of, yeah. So okay, I I think it it might. I don't know. I'm thinking of two moments. Yeah, like one, yeah. one, whenever I was younger and the first time I saw, this is so basic, but like it was when I first saw Sound of Music. Oh I, my yeah. God. No. Well, I, uh, I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, 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 no. I'm going, I no. like, I love it so much. It's like one of my favorite things. And by the way, when my kids loved it, I felt like a successful oh, marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. That was one of the moments that I found like just entertainment and just that world of pretend in that world. Like musically, I thought it was. So magical and like the relationship with the Von Trapp family. I just thought it was like very cool. Uh-huh. Um, but like for me personally, like a moment I experienced was honestly, I, I sang at this thing in like junior high and I, everyone was singing. Like I didn't feel like special at this point. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel everybody had their moment to shine during this performance thing that we were doing at school. And I got up there and it just was like amazing. All my friends just to be on stage in the same energy with all my friends, just like loving to sing, picking songs, the art of all of it, like yeah. figuring it out, who was the sequence of the show, like choir culture, all of that. Yeah, yeah, it was just, it was very fun to me. And I got up there and I, I remember his vision of love. I sang vision <gasps> of love, Mariah Carey, cause why not? And I love that gas. I appreciate that gas. Oh yeah. my God, I'm, rec- mm. I'm a lamb. I'm like a dyed in the wool I'm heart. a 100% lamb. The butterfly album? Every riff. Oh. Do I know in my soul? Oh, yeah. 100%. People ask me why I don't cover her. And I'm like, too much respect. one, sometimes it's hard to uh, clear songs. <laughs> well, yeah, and, two, her. and two, it's you don't want to because it's like, why am I going near that? But the, the main reason is it's I'm almost incapable of not mimicking. Got like, it. you know what I'm saying? I grew up yeah. on it so much. Like, it's like if I sing like she or Whitney Houston or we like I, I don't. It's hard to do. 
to deter from the route I know. Because it's, you it's know what, what taught you how to do it. Because it's what taught me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This like, is yeah. the Mariah song I want to hear you do. My all. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? If you, if, I listen. Oh. oh. It's like, okay. Not okay. even. Okay. I'm okay. Full body. Oh my God. First of all, and how low she is, that sultry, sexy in that yes. verse. It's oh. all. When, first oh. of all, the, you chose my all. Yes, I did. That's a real fan. What do you think that I'm? I'm some just Trump? saying you're gonna come out here with the motions like a basic no. video no. setup. No, like no, I'm no. just saying that's a real. Oh, okay. <laughs> first of all, it gets a lot thicker and deeper than that. Like yeah. he's gonna be like, the, do like, the roof. Do I the like roof. looking the in. Roof? Like I love. I'm just saying. I'm, I've I've brought friends over to my apartment effects. and put on like the my record player. I've, I'll play like the butterfly. I got really into like vinyl during the pandemic. That yeah. was like the thing I, I started collecting. Because you're cool. Yeah. Well, and then I played the roof for some of my friends that like didn't get it. Oh, and I was just like, so I sexy. can't be friends with you guys anymore. You gotta yeah, go. I <laughs> you don't, don't get the roof. I just remember it's the pandemic. We shouldn't be here anymore. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I have COVID. Sorry, um, <laughs> COVID. Yeah. Yeah. No, mine was. Um, I just feel like it's an incredible thing too. Like the span of her career and the span of success. Like as in like. It's not just like like even her new albums you still dig. You Caution know I mean? is excellent. Period. And I look, Eagles MC Square, like that whole like mm-hmm. side effects. That song came out and I was like, wow, she she had something to say. People didn't like, talk about I Stay In Love enough. Uh-huh. She's awesome. so great. Are you in heaven right now? These are your two favorite artists. Are you you're, And you're me? talking to your, one talking of your favorite artists. I love about that Mariah. that's oh one. Yeah, MJ, I, we could talk forever. I'm And I'm such a huge fan of being her street team as far as her being one of the best writers ever. Oh, 100%. No one talks about it. No, they always and, talk yeah. about the songbird and I'm like, great. Yeah, yeah, vocals for days, obviously. But guys, very few, name another artist. You can't. That's that successful. Uh-huh. That wrote it all. all Who arranges it. Herself. Arranges it, writes it. Like, I'm just saying, like, a lot of our favorite artists, like, you know, I write a lot, but I don't write all of it. Nothing you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with that. Not even bashing myself or others, but <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah, no shade. Yeah. It's just, what an amazing Mind. woman. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like the thing is like, and so, to have the number one Christmas song for like all time. I mean, it's, shut it's up. unreal. <laughs> shut By the way, up. But, like, but underneath the tree is well, coming. Thank you. But underneath I, the tree. Oh, we is, had a moment with Wrapped in Red where it, it came the year, the, the year it came out, we did a whole sketch show called Pop Roulette Wrapped, Wrapped in Red. And oh. it was every transition song was, was underneath was, the tree. Was underneath the tree. <gasps> well, thank you. Yeah. It was ex- excellent. Um, yeah. it was I like, was trying my best to like imitate what Mariah might do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got there. Like, because it was actually more of a tie into um that wall of yeah, the Spectre. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Please come home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Baby, please come home. I couldn't think of it. It's, wow. I, for a billion dollars. <laughs> for a billion dollars. You know, Pitchfork <laughs> ranked Baby, Please Come Home right below All I Want for Christmas is You for like best, like, you know, the top, like recent pop. Yeah. That's the thing Christmas is it's songs. like, it's not just that song. It's that whole Christmas album. That's like, that's I know, I know. Christmas can, album. Can we talk about, I believe it's track number five. Um, uh, um, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's my favorite wait, 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 wait. cold. Uh, um, uh, oh, oh, um, wait. oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Wait, can we get track um, number five? Let's uh, see, let's see. I'll, wait, I'll pull wait, it up. Wait. I'm pulling it. Hold I'm pulling the phone it. Oh my God, it's five or six. It's on literally one of my. No, no, no. no on on Mariah. Mariah. Okay, okay, okay. I, no, I don't even want you to tell me. I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I feel okay. like a I'll, let down. I'm not a lamb right now. I'm a loser. No, you're not. But while we're looking it up, did you listen to her memoir? No, without you. Christmas or. I have it. No, 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 wait. Um. Uh. Oh my God, it's like my favorite. Is, is it, it miss, miss you, you most, most at Christmas time? Miss you <laughs> most is the best. Look, I love All I Want for Christmas is You, but miss you most. At Christmas time, yes. How dare she? Yeah, how dare she? I have cried so many tears to that song. Uh, miss you most. And I will say that song, kind of Hard Candy Christmas and like the Carpenters are the mm, reason why excellent. Merry Christmas to the one I used to know, which is oh, on my last love it. It's Christmas so album. Good, but Kelly. that's the origin story of that is wow. like my life. But also like they opened up this whole world of like Christmas possibility with like new music like that, you know, hadn't been done in it, a while. It, so. it can be a Christmas song about something that is. But I like all I want for Christmas to you. But I, it's great. Oh but miss you most is my jam. Uh, yeah, that's. I couldn't freaking think of the name because I haven't had enough caffeine. But yeah, I'm Look, tired. We're, we're, we're there with you. No, oh my I god, mean, I'm gonna cover that one this season. Yes. <gasps> If I can clear it. Mariah, will you clear it? No, come like, on, come Mariah. 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 It's like, Kelly Clark. Oh, I just love Miss You Most. Maybe she'll sing it with me. Can you imagine? She's like a Christmas queen. There you like, go. have you met her several times? I've met her a few times. Yeah. And she's so, so, oh my God. So the last time we ran into each other, I didn't even realize what I was doing. Because I, I don't get, she's very warm and welcoming. So I don't get like super nervous. I right. did the very first time we met. 
I said some stupid shit. She also probably but, respects you because but you're such she's an just very singer. cool. Yeah, like, yeah, and, yeah. And like very cool and like kind and like not, and like she's just I don't know. I thought she took so much time and actually watched the videos for all the voice artists. And I thought, oh, oh cool, you're stand up. Like not everybody that comes here does that or gives a shit. She or gives just a looking shit. to promote she their shit. stuff. Yeah, famous. I'm like that was really cool because I've been these people, so yeah, yeah, it yeah. meant a lot to me. So anyway, but she is very cool. But she the last thing. We were talking because I was saying something about like something of her. I was, you know, bragging on her. And um, she's like, well, we should write together. And I was like, oh, I don't, <gasps> I don't write. And I, oh, okay, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but she said it. And I, this is honestly like, I don't write in the same room with people. I have really done that twice in my life because yeah, yeah. I'm just not a vulnerable writer. Yeah, yeah. And so just sometimes I'm just. You like to bring stuff that you have done to someone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like even this whole record, like if I'm like or any song you see me on, I've pretty much written the, the lyrics and melodies just right. on my own alone. Like I'm, it. it's just so, but. I, anyway, I start telling Mariah about my process and I'm like, did I just, and then I walked away and they're like, do you realize you just kind of said no to like <gasps> writing? And I was like, wait, what? And I was no. like, I didn't say no. I just, I just was explaining. I just say whatever's in you my head. You probably went tunnel vision and we're like, duh, 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 duh. well, and, and I then, was like, oh, I was like, I was like, oh God, I can't write in a room together. And I walked away and my my people were like, do you realize that you kind of just like said no <laughs> to my? And I was like, wait, what? We're the same because 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 I, I do this all the time. I didn't I'm, even mean to say that. Exactly. I was just explain. I was just. I don't even know why I was. I was just nervous. Just said bullshit. Totally. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> like I was like, I don't even know what I said. It was Mariah fucking carry. That's why you like, don't know what you're I'm saying. I'm not in a room with you, ma'am. You have like a billion numbers. <laughs> so we got to meet her because this was so, so we did funny. a we did a Peloton you know Cody Rigsby from Peloton mm -hmm. so we did his Peloton class during Christmas because Bowen was on I was on as a guest like I was on the bike next to him and it, was a, it was a talk show and, and I had my Christmas special out so we were okay. like sort of doing that together Mariah Carey <laughs> came out and stood and did like a bit it, I was like, if you tell me this woman walked on a Peloton, I was like, she I'm certainly like, did not. Get I was like, I will die. Uh, they, she stood in what had to be, I don't know, forty-eight inch heels next to the Christmas tree. Said it's time, and then like, do <laughs> you know, did her thing. But when I tell you, she like had like a moment where she needed to ha ha get help getting down from the pedestal. She said, "Can you help me down?" Looked me in the eyes. They had put me in this one thing because they know I'm like a huge fan. I couldn't, I almost broke my leg getting out of the Peloton. You're like, you're I, like, I, I, I read <laughs> unclip my knee out of that. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was totally, like, totally. can you imagine if she had fallen? Because I was like, mm, I'm scrapped in, I can't. I was like, you better get the fuck up out I of this Peloton. I <laughs> grabbed her hand and helped her down to safety. Yeah. So I helped Mariah Carey safely you exit the Peloton. You saved her life. I saved That's her. That's what the story is. That's I, what the story is. <laughs> literally, I, she may not have got, she might still be up there if it wasn't for me. <laughs> You are such a, you're a hero. <laughs> he is. There's a hero. Oh, what a great Oh, oh my God. And I just saw her perform Music Hero Box, at LA Pride. That Music album. Box. Oh Please. my God. You know when I knew my dad oh. was cool? When I saw that he had the Music Box CD. Do you know what? I have major daddy issues. Don't know mine very well at all. And uh, he passed away. But I will say the one thing my father and I had in common was Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, and Aretha Franklin. Really? Because wow. I, I came to visit him like once in my childhood. And he had noticed that I had Mariah and my Discman, my Walkman, anti-skip. Yep. Um, and <laughs> anyway, you could hold it sideways. Um, anyway. Uh, and he um, started belting. And he was like, I oh, wanted. I love this record. <laughs> and he started, no, he just started like talking about, and it was like the one and only time I had a yeah. connection with my father wow. in my life. it was over Mariah. It was music it was anything, and it was Mariah. Yeah. And he, let, he was like, I love Whitney, Aretha. I was like, those are my favorites. Like, I was like, what? So it was That's really, major. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had something. Yeah, uh, we had something. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to have something. My dad yeah. loves Jimmy Buffett. I love Margaritaville. <laughs> Honey. As long as you know by heart, yeah. I do. <laughs> the, only, the only English speaking artist my dad knows, and we, we know this on the pot, is Cher. Cher. And you know I'm what? Like, if that's you're going to just too. have one, that's a nice solid that's a really one to have. Nice one. His yeah. dad will sing Believe. What's your favorite Cher song? Because you're going to hate me for mine. But I, look, mine's Shoop. Oh my God. I love it. That's, it's in his kiss. I just, look, I love it. I know it's really for good. mermaids. It's for the movie, the soundtrack. It's not wow, even like her it's epic for songs. Mermaids. But I love it. That's a really good so one. Because that album's She's got so out. many anthems. I almost can't go near those. But then again, if you I could think? turn back time. Look, not just me, like to pick that, to pick a favorite uh -huh, out of those. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I could turn back time is like, for all time. That's a good karaoke song too. You ever go to the good so karaoke shoop, spots? It's in his kiss. That's true. I karaoke yeah. last night. I know. That's I it. heard that I you were shredding it. tequila shots yes. and like singing I do not hook up. I was well and here's the thing. No one told me like 
really what I was walking into. Okay. They were just like, hey, if we throw a party and like fans are coming and it's released, and I was like, all right. They invited us, but we were busy. So, we were so well, pissed so off. Well, so I came and then they were like, well, if you want to get on stage, and I was like, my voice is shot because I've sure, li- literally been up at 5 a.m. every morning yeah. and working all day. And I was like, ah, uh, I was like, maybe I'll do harmonies. Cut to. <laughs> Shredding. Cut to. I'm you like, couldn't help yourself. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I have no voice today. And because we have no uh, monitor either. So right. I was like, it yelled, like, hear yourself. But anyway, but they, somebody goes, I want to do, I don't know how to cup. And I was like, are you serious? I have not <laughs> it's a performed that it's, song though in like over a decade. I know. Like, so you did I, that on SNL and you gave an iconic I, riff at the end. I'll I never literally, forget it. I forgot it. I, I literally. You don't want to miss out. You did. Like, yes. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah. I literally, it's just been a minute for me, like for a lot of those songs. Yeah. So I was like looking at AZ but lyrics. Yeah. On the- <laughs> You're a lot. La- AZ lyrics, we love you. Co written by Katy Perry. Co written by, by Katy Perry. By the way, I mean, uh, and Long Shot. She wrote that one. Oh, as yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. I love, uh, so all I ever wanted is a special album for me because that, that was like, when we were in college. That was when we were in college. I remember going home, just being on the plane. That was the, this is before iPhones, before like you could like street, you know, download stuff. I just had that entire album on my iPod and yeah. I listened to the entire album for the entire six hour flight. Yeah. Just, I love that album so much. You know, what's one of oh. your, my favorite songs of yours? Ready. <gasps> I love mm. Ready. Oh my God. If you knew what that song was about. <laughs> what? Could we find out um, now? That Look is such a sad. Well, it's what? like it's a really sad okay. song. Is Have it? you? Do you know Irvine? Yeah, of course I know Irvine. Kind Kelly of the Clarkson. same dark place. Really? Yeah. So I'm ready now. Is really just like, look, I'm done. Like you can just take me. Like I come that, get me. Yeah, that song. They were is, playing it during the Bachelorette as, promos at the time. L- literally, I know, but that song <laughs> is actually literally about just like not it's, living anymore. Are you kidding? Yeah. 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 Because they really made it sound happy. No, I know that was my point. Yeah, that I made it, like how I wrote it was like kind of whatever, but my I told my producer, who was Jason Halbert, my musical director at the time. Um, Icon, or legend. always. I know, 20 years now, crazy. Wow, legend. Um, But he, when he found out, he was like, oh my God, I love that song, but now that I know what it's about, he was like, I know, now it I breaks feel my like, heart okay. when I hear the lyrics. And well, I'm like, I just remember skipping along on the streets of New York. I had just gotten into Tish. And I oh, remember just being like, yes. oh, <laughs> and now I'm like, oh. I know, it's actually really sad. So that's like going sad things. I always and have then, like, my me. memory of that girl I was skipping in New York to ready. <laughs> and you won't take that from me, Kelly. <laughs> you won't take that from me. <laughs> hey, but it's like, sometimes you're sad, you know? Yeah, sometimes, for yeah. sure. So, but yeah, I don't like, I don't know that everybody really knows what things are usually about. Of but course. that's the cool thing about music, though. Yeah. You hear it. I don't know either for different artists, like that they write, but like, I think that's what's cool. You take what you need from it or what you see in it. Yeah, I feel like you do that a lot, though, where it's like, a happy sound, quote unquote, but it's like, I mean, the lyrics are like, if you take a closer read on them, it's like, whoa, 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 this is dark, yeah. you know, or the other way around. Or well, see. I think I'm, I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy and bubbly, but I think if you're able to experience like, I'm just a passionate person uh-huh. either way. Yeah. Like, so yep. I can go real dark, like, but I can also be real bright. Yep. So um, I just, you know, it's finding that balance. Bon. <laughs> this is, yeah. this is, this, I think every singer should have a Glennon Doyle era, should have like Period. a Love Warrior era. Yes. Should have a Brene Brown era. I, I feel love like, Brene Brown. Uh, Brene Brown. Let, we, did that. you watch um, her thing on HBO Max? Alice well, of the Heart. R.I.P. Now it's Max. I don't know. I know. Is I'm it, like, what do you call Atlas it? Atlas of the Heart. Did I have not that? seen that one. I've seen her like TED Talk. Of course, the like, TED yeah. Talks I, drank, I drank a 20 milligram weed seltzer, sat my ass <laughs> down in front of Brene Brown, Alice with a heart. And ready took notes. to receive. Yeah. Ready to receive. Do you yeah. smoke weed? I don't smoke anything. You don't, because no. the, the voice. Of the, the yeah. Chords. I enjoy gummy. You enjoy a gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Take a gummy. But I don't, but I don't, I don't, I'll never smoke anything. I don't enjoy, be doing that. I just don't enjoy that either. I tried like um, vaping once and I was like, this is horrible. Well, vaping is like well, worse for your bad. voice than even smoking joints. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I just yeah. meant like, I just, I was like, well, don't knock it too dry. But like, yeah, that's not my vibe. No problem. So could, just to ask about like your actual instrument, this is, and I'm not being like, I'm not blowing smoke, but you really do get better as time goes on like I don't know if you feel like your voice is capable and expanding 100% agree because I feel like whenever even when I was young like like I that's the biggest joke between because I had to watch something from Idol for some interview thing I was doing they were like hey can you watch this we're gonna reference it and I went back and watched it and I was like, how did I win that show? Oh, come but, on. It, but you know what? You know what the thing but is? I like, just mean like, it was yeah, very yeah. different. My voice was very it different. It sounded different. Even like yeah. Miss Independent, like I wrote, I wrote on that and like even writing that, I remember when I first came out and started singing that, like the the verse to that 
was so incredibly difficult for me to reach. Yeah. Like the highs and lows of that. My range was just not what it is now. Like yeah. now it's yeah. a cakewalk. But like back then it wasn't. So I think the more, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Like any, you know, muscle, I guess. But 100%. like, but I, yeah, for me, I 100% agree that my voice is yeah. aged uh, better. I just had to ask because it's like, it really does it get, I wonder if it's something you were doing or just like, maybe just like as you get older, just like, you know, your instrument better. It just, I think you got, know your instrument better. You, you tore, you get a yeah. better endurance and stamina. You, and you also learn to say no, you learn right. to yeah. like, no, I'm not going to be like this whole trip. I didn't really sing a bunch of places because I was like, look, if you want me to be talking everywhere, you need to know, like, I'm an actual vocalist. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't do that. be waking up at 5 a.m. and going to bed at 11, you 100%. know, or 12 yeah. and then, yeah. like, killing it vocally. Like, yeah, it's not right. going to happen. So we picked our moments of, like, what we were going to do. But, right. like, yeah, you just have to know, I think, how to say no and and yes. And, and also, you know best because it's your literal voice totally. and, like, what you're thinking. Yeah, and, of. like, everyone's... Because my favorite thing whenever I first started touring is, like, well, this artist does four oh. shows per, you know, in four shows in like five days. I'm like, okay, cool. That artist is dancing wonderfully. Yes, um, yes. But that artist is not, not necessarily do my set exactly. list yeah. in, the in a dream world. So right, it's in a like, dream world. Because it's not a, a huge set time. list. It's yeah. just like, no. you, you know, it's like, that's a completely different artist that you just mentioned. I was like, which is a great artist, by the way, but I was just like, don't compare me to someone who's no. completely different yeah. and like miming basically yeah. every night. I'm like, I could do that too. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. So they're they're not having us like wrap up, but we're absolutely we are not wrapped up from like five and, different and, people. And, and, what I'm, and what I'm saying My to everyone is, is, it's going to be homophobic if you don't allow us to do. I don't think so, honey. With Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> so we're, and we're doing Pride it. Month. We're doing so it. So everyone, cool here's it. the thing. Yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're what doing are we doing? It. What are so we doing? This is I don't think so, honey. This is our us. Uh, a famous segment, Kelly okay, Clarkson. I like, I don't think so. Honey. That we do on our show, which is we, for 60 seconds, we rant against something in pop culture that is grinding our gears. We, it's a, oh. it's a way to expel our demons. No We're one's going to go, like mine, but okay, go. No, okay. they're going to love it. They're going to love worry. it. I'm going to go first, then Bo, and then you. You start okay. with saying, I don't think so, honey, blank, the thing. Okay, All right, so you'll see. Matt okay. Rogers, I don't think so, honey, his time starts now. I don't think so, honey, fucking with the ocean. Uh -huh. Okay, I could have told you this. Years ago, honey, don't go in there, don't go down there. Because I'm telling you what. Oh my God. The submersible, yeah, duh, of course that happened. And God rest. But also, I don't care how many billions you have, it's not a good idea. I don't think so, honey, <laughs> going down to the Titanic. Wait. Can I tell you something? No, and also not for nothing, but you know who I think was involved in this? The orcas. Because oh, now the orcas are coming for the gathering. girls. 30 seconds. I don't seconds. think so, honey, that the orcas are organizing, but yes, I do, because we've been fucked up to the orcas. Telecom, we see you, girl, wherever you're at. We represent right, you God here rest, tonight. Telecom. God rest. Telecom, God rest. I don't think so, honey, even going into the ocean. You couldn't get me seconds. in that submersible in the deep end of a pool, let alone to the deep. <laughs> let Titanic be what it is, a great film and a grave sight for people that should be left Five the fuck seconds. alone. I don't think so, honey. The ocean and fucking with it, I don't even like eels, seals, fish. No, <laughs> I don't think so, honey. one minute. Eels, seals, fish, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did see this thing on the Discovery thing that was really cool. I think it was with Will Smith and he went down and like a pod net looked different than Will what they Smith went down. Stay on land. No, I'm telling you, it was beautiful though. Like, well, I'm glad he did it, so I don't have to. And we got the footage. I don't yeah, want to exactly. do it. Exactly. But I'm glad someone does it because it's amazing to see what's down there. They went like down where like, you know, people don't generally go. So that is cool. I see why people would want to do it. But I, Kelly, yeah, okay, right. But I, someone I, else. Kelly, when I say this sentence, how do you feel? We know less about the deep sea than we do about space. I am. I am. I, <laughs> since I was a kid, I literally wanted to be Miranda Butler. Just like well, I love. Yes, I remember you I, saying I, that. I yes. love the ocean. Jaws did run that for me, but uh -huh. but um, I I just I love it. I think it's it's amazing. I do think exploring it is interesting, but in exploring it with respect, with respect, yeah, of course. much larger than us, and like the, you know. I'll tell mammals you, count like you know what I'm saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're destroying uh, you know a lot of marine life you know so 100. I think do it respectfully but I do think it's interesting because you can learn a lot and you never know like scientifically speaking what could be helpful med you know medicinally totally. speaking like I don't want to do it like but What's I want helpful? someone else to do it so I have the footage there it's go. going down to the, the Titanic leave it be leave it we've be. seen it like just everyone stay on the land and and also like did you see the video of what the submersible was it was like, it was, it's it was, like it was, a Sega Genesis it's control somebody said it looked like a PS2 
Wii U or something. No, yeah, I mean, it's, like a, it's an it they, they, they reprogrammed an, like a controller for an Xbox to control this fucking thing. Anyway. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay this is Bell and Yang's I don't think so funny. Mine, mine, mine is about this thing too. All right, okay, here we go. Wow, okay, this is topical culture. This is Bell and Yang's I don't think so funny. It's time starts now. I don't think so funny. These five people going to a fucking coffee shop right before they get on the <laughs> submersible. These They interviewed the barista who talked to them, who gave them their coffee before they stepped into this little capsule. Are you talking about like who, who's got to go? They, like, they, well, yes, because <laughs> you're giving these people cold brews before they go to the bottom of the ocean where they have a fucking toilet like a foot well, away from them. Well, they thought they were only going to be there for two and a half hours, and huh? The, and these poor people, yeah, I mean, I may they so rest? Sad. It's awful. Rest. You know, lives have been 30 seconds. lost, but you Horrible. don't go to a coffee shop before even like an elevator ride. I don't do or that. Or like performing on stage. Or performing on stage. Like <laughs> yeah. you got to you got to keep it all like You got to keep it all together. You got to keep it all together. It's you all be, about timing. It's all about timing. 15 yes. seconds. You are going on a you have to go on a fast before you go into these submersibles, yeah. I guess. 100%. And look, it's so sad what happened. This this company Ocean Drive whatever they 5 seconds. Uh, <sighs> whatever they it's supposed they, it's because it's titanium and they worked in a carbon um, I, know, I don't know all about it. it. I've just and been. That's, that's why it crashed. Yeah. It's fascinating. It's sad. It's fascinating. It's so. I'm gonna say. It's it's just fascinating. It's giving Triangle of Sadness. Did you watch the movie Triangle of Sadness? Did I love it? The puke. <laughs> the scene that went on for decades. It like it was like everybody much. kept. I. Woody Harrelson yeah. is, I'm telling you what, that man is a genius. I love that. Them getting drunk with the captain. And the, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know what I was walking into. Like, I just was at home. My kids, like, they're usually with me. But when they go to their dad's, like, four days out of the month, uh -huh. I'm like, what, what do I want to watch as adult? And I was just like, <laughs> oh, I'll just put this on. And then I was like, by the end of it, I was like, what the hell did I just watch? Yeah, like, the greatest Perfect. film of the it year. It was so good. Yeah. Loved it. Okay. Yeah. okay, this is Kelly... No, no, I no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're I get to she's go. She's getting it. I get to go. You will not take it from go. me. And I understand, but because mine homophobic. is real. Okay, <laughs> this mine is Kelly is Clarkson's. I don't think so, honey. Time starts now. I don't think so, honey. Did anybody see Social Dilemma? Why are we all hooked to our phones? Oh yeah. my god! Look, I sound like an old person, but it's just like. Why are we that interested in someone's coffee and <laughs> what they're Dragon having? Like, out. not you. No, no, I no, just no, mean no, like, no. like, like, why are we so interested in everybody else all the time? Why does everything need to be validated via a, it's just sad. It's a sad, yeah. sad thing to live your life for likes. It's a sad thing that we project on our children. Like, why are you letting your children do this? Anyway, I, do you live seconds. your life how you want to? But it literally drives me nuts because I feel like it's just, dumbing us down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. I've heard so much dumber down. than I was. Yeah. Anyway, I know I sound like a 40-year-old no, whatever. No, no, we need to hear but it. But like, I <laughs> Like a 40-year-old whatever. I'm like over it. I'm like- 15 seconds. Okay, whatever. That's all I'm saying. All right, yeah. period. There you go. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson said, touch grass. Touch grass. Yes. Um, <laughs> all different kinds. <laughs> yeah, <right>. period. <laughs> and then, the gummy. But then people would be happy. <laughs> um, I can't believe that you gave us so much time. This is I so love it. cool. Thank yeah. you so much for doing this. Thank you. I can't wait to do it again. I'm like in New York now. No, yes, I know. I'm, I'm just like, going to randomly stop by. No, unwanted. please. You are, there is an open door policy for you. Okay. Like always. Don't invite me. Mama will show up. Um, okay. Please do. Congrats we do, on the album. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Congrats on the album. It's so good. Thank you. And we, I love it. We do thank end you. every episode with a song. Okay. I am thinking of you in my sleepless solitude tonight. The cover starts there. If you want to hear that, hopefully, maybe she'll do it August 18th at Las Vegas when we're seeing oh, her. Oh, my, that's the last day. Okay. Okay. There you bye. go. Bye. bye.